Hey, what's up? Today, we are gonna go ahead and take a trip back to uh, my personal favorite product to open, Modern Horizons 1. So we're gonna do a little box battle here. So, those are a couple prize packs I threw on the side, and what those are for is, uh, we're gonna, we've got six participants, each one's gonna get six packs out of this box, we're gonna crack those open. Whoever has the highest total and whoever has the lowest total, of total mana value, between, with all their rares and mythics, uh, gets uh, one of those uh, Baldur's Gate packs, collector packs. A set that I personally enjoy a lot. I know not everybody does, but I think the set is going to go down in history way better than some people think about it now. So let me mix this stuff up. We'll divvy it out, and then we'll start the battle. If we have any ties. Ties will be determined based off whoever has the single highest casting cost mythic. And if that doesn't do it, whoever has the single highest casting cost rare. That doesn't matter whether you're going for the high or the low. Okay. So we've got Squigs, Squiggums. And I got Butters. All right, then. Harper. Ian, and this should be six for Anthony in the caboose. All right, good luck, everybody. Literally my favorite product open. It never gets old to me. I love it. I love the set. Here we go. So we're going to do this in three rounds. Squigs, your first three packs. Here we go. So you got a prismatic vista artwork. Snow-covered forest. And a waterlogged grove to start you off. I wonder if they'll ever finish the Horizon Land cycle. But that's a, that's a zero to start in a pretty solid zero. I'll say, let me write that down just to keep track of the same number of packs across everybody. All right. <clears throat> Foil Illusion Token. The, the, okay. I feel like I talk about this in every video. So we got Unsettled Mariner for a two. Another good rare. This set is just chock full of good rares. Lots of them. Also, this was before uh, the collector box era. So, foils, besides looking great in this product, they do, they, they look spectacular, also carry a premium. It's one of the last sets to really have that. So your third pack squigs. Force of Rage. Okay, so that's our first force of the box. So that is a three. Of course, this the average casting cost in this set's really low. So squigs, that is a five in your first three packs. All right, let's go to butters. It truly is, it truly is a modern set. All right, Gabo, keep forgetting that the the rare is so close to the top <laughs> in these packs. Force of friggin' vigor, butters, butters. So our second force in, and you have hit a rare home run. So that is a four, and then a talisman of conviction right below it. Very nice. Okay, next pack. Tectonic Reformation for a two. Not every card in this product is a home run. <clears throat> Although that has a home, doesn't it? All right, and we got uh, Shapeshifter and Foil. The token. Yogi. Snow-covered forest. And Nether Spirit. Okay, that is a three. Talisman of Hierarchy, Fact or Fiction. Okay. So that is a three... So that puts you at a nine, Butters. Of course, you tend to get one foil rare per box. Uh, so that foil rare is, is going to be a big difference. You can get two foil rares, but that's, a, that's, that's less common. Usually it's going to be one. Then, you're up. Sissy for a three. Tree folk. Three for Ven's first pack. Next pack. Of course, this a super EDH playable. 
not really worth anything, but. Okay, mounted. So our first foil. So we've got Volatile Claws, foil common. And Collector, oof, that is a two. Solid rare in a set full of them. Kind of a hate card, but that's cool. Hey, if you're playing green of all colors, that's not a bad, it's not a bad little thing to play. It's like, yeah, okay, no, screw all your artifacts. <clears throat> or a lot of them, anyway. Okay. Plague Engineer for a three. And Talisman of Curiosity. All right, so that is an eight for Ven. Harper, you're up. So no Mythics have been pulled yet. Usually four of those per box can get five. Rare Three is an extreme rarity, but it, it can happen. Hopefully I didn't jinx things by saying that. Island. Reap the Past for a two. Everdream, Carrying Feeder, Zelferin, Decoy. So a two, next pack. Foil bird. Urza. A Eula for a two. Then regrow, sliver, and Connor for worm. Okay. And next pack for Harper. All right, we can do better than those first two rares, even though a Eula has a deck around her, basically. Okay, Renart. Ah, there we go. We ask and we receive Prismatic Vista. Very, very, very good. Undead Augur. That is a zero. So, Harper, you're in a four. Nice hit there. Ian. No covered island. Astral drift for a three. I do believe astral drift is actually bottom of the totem pole on rares. But that does mean we got nowhere to go but up. Cloud Shutter Sliver, not bad. That's a two. Cloud Shredder Sliver, of course, might have its day very soon. We'll see with uh, Slivers kind of coming back. Ah, very, okay. Our first Mythic, and it's a good, very good one. We got the first Sliver. There we go. That is a five. About time we hit our first Mythic. I was wondering. I wonder when that was going to happen. All right, Ian, you're at a ten. Anthony. Foil Angel token. Cordial Vampire. He's just, he's just so friendly. That's a two. Of course, Cordial Vampire saw its price spike heavily when... Uh, what set was that? It was the second uh, Innistrad of the, the recent... All right. Crimson Vow? Yeah. It saw its price spike. I think it got as high as about ten bucks. And then, of course, then Vampire... Uh, love affairs waned again and it, it's back down to like a buck but still a good card all right anthony oh jesus a foil giver of runes wow and one of the cards that has been slowly just keeps increasing over time i don't even know what the foil's at now i, I would be shocked if it was less than 20 bucks that is a fantastic hit that's a one and then a silent clearing behind it great pack and a Talisman of Conviction. Fantastic back. That's a one. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna sleeve up that foil really quick. Even though I'm not worried about it curving because the foils in this set were great. I just don't want to scuff it. Because that is a heck of a foil rare pull. Are there bigger foil rare pulls than this in this product? Yes. But that is on the upper end. All right, next pack. Planes. 
And plane bound accomplice for a three. So Anthony, you're at a six and really nice pull there. Okay, so first round done. Um, what we have so far is we've got Squiggums, is that a five? Butters, is that a nine? Ven is at an eight. Harper is currently in the low at a four. Ian is currently in the high at a 10, and Anthony's at a six. So everybody's in play for everything. Squigs, next two packs. Oop. Okay, well you got the art card to go with the card, I guess. Ah! <laughs> yes! Force of friggin' negation, baby. Uh, so that means we have pulled the three most expensive rares in the set. Ah, excellent. <clears throat> And talisman of creativity, because why not? Because why not? You know what, I'll sleeve this up later. It's not foil and it's not mythic. But nonetheless, that is a pretty killer three. <laughs> sleeve up everything takes forever. Keep going. Ooh, foil zombo token. Very nice. Okay. Bizarre trade mage for a three. And a tribute mage. So Squigs, you're at an 11 going into your last pack. All right, so Butters, you're next. Come on, open up, open up, open up. There we go. On thin ice. For a one. I changed my position here. Like, why am I fumbling? Oh, yeah, because I'm at a very awkward angle. Why am I at an awkward angle? All right. So, next pack for Butters. Foil Squirrel. Very relevant tokens. Soul Strike Technique Foil. That is a really pretty card. Collected Conjuring for a four. Okay, kind of evasion. So Butters, you're at a 14 now, going into your last pack. Then, you know what, I'd like to find Ven something spicy here, Box. Okay, let's do that. Everybody else has found something spicy. Can I, can I have one of those videos where everybody gets something cool? Let's do this. Quake Foot uh, Cyclops, foil. Fire Easily, okay, eyelet, whatever. Not quite what I was referring to, but that's a nice pull. That's a zero. Next pack. Okay, tearing the pack to shreds, soldier. And and a nurture, so we've got four of the lands already, the Horizon Lands, and then a Nurturing Peatland. Very good. That's pretty much back-to-back -back good packs right there. So, and then you're now also at an eight. So you're clearly now going for the low. Harper, you're up. And I just want to state, as we're uh, well past the halfway point of the box now, we're still at one Mythic. So we still got some juice left going on. All right, Harper. Speaking of mythic, Unbound Flourishing, which is a solid mythic. It's it's it was one of the cheapest mythics in the set for a long time, but because of certain cards that have come out, specifically uh, is it named Magius Kane, I think, um, it has a fantastic home. Lucia Kane, that's that, that's it, right? I think so. God, why can't I remember it's all top of my head? <sighs> anyway. Next pack. So that's two mythics spoken for. And a goblin engineer. Always a solid pull. That is a two. So Harper, you're at a nine. So while you're out of the low because Ven pulled two lands in a row, you're still pretty low. Ian? 
you went into this round with the highest at a 10. So what are your next two packs going to do for you here? Mythic! Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh, yes. Yeah. That's four. <laughs> well, that's, that's three Mythics, and that's not one that I want to see, but don't really have a choice in the matter, do I? I mean, she's not a bad card. It's just she's the cheapest Mythic in the set. All right. Ian? Foil in common, we got Ruiner Rider. Ruination Rider, sorry. And, ah, uh, Force of Despair. Not bad. That is a three. And Talisman of Resilience. So, Ian, you're back at a 17, still in the high. Because you had a, for this set anyway, real casting cost back to back. Okay, Anthony. How will we follow up that awesome foil rare? Future Sight for a 5. A generous gift. Future Sight, of course, is a pretty big casting cost in this product. And next pack for Anthony. And Lightning Skill Elemental. So that is a 3. That puts Anthony at a 14. All right, going into the last round. It's going to be a little bit of a battle. Squigs, you're at an 11. You're kind of in no man's land right now. Butters is at a 14, clearly playing for the high. Ven's at an 8, currently in the low. Harper's at a 9, currently playing for the low. Ian's at a 17, currently in the high. And Anthony's at a 14, also currently battling for the high. Here we go. Squigs, last pass. There should be one more Mythic out of these six packs. I would be shocked if there wasn't, unless I jinxed myself. Which is entirely possible. I hope I didn't. Foil Common. Tree, uh, tree Top Ambusher. And Crash and Footfalls. Alright, alright. That's a zero. So, you might actually now be in the running for the low. <laughs> that, is, that is a zero. So you're at an 11 now, Squigs. <clears throat> So you're no longer in no man's land. All right, Butters. So you're playing for the high. Swamp. Force of Virtue. Okay, that is a four. So Butters, you're at an 18. To win the high, you need Ian and uh, Anthony to not put up anything special on the cats and cost side. All right, Ven, you're at an eight. Current finished eleven is uh, low is eleven. Gabo. And a spiteful sliver for a three. So I think, yep, you're tied now with Squigs. Okay, Harper, so you're at a nine going into this pack. Pashalik Mons, that takes you out of the battle for the low. Or Pashalik, I don't know. That's a three though, so you're at a 12. Ian, you're currently in the high. Finished high is an 18, or oh, sorry. You're at a 17, finished high is an 18. Also, where is this fourth mythic? Fountain of Ikor. There it is. Ah, Mox Tantalite. Okay, that is it. Wait a minute, is that a zero? That is a freaking zero. Oh, jeez. Ian, stuck at a 17. But, taking home two mythics. Okay, Anthony, finished high is an 18, and you're at a 14. 
And then I have to look at Squigs and uh, Harper and figure, oh, sorry, Squigs and Ven and figure out who won the low. Here we go. Oh, another myth. Oh, free. Yes. All right. So we got our fifth mythic and it's an Urza. Fantastic. Fantastic. And I, oh, oh, she's. And now we have a tie for the high. Because <clears throat> things just have to be difficult. Okay. Oh, uh, I'll sleep you up after. Okay. <clears throat> So what we have now is we have a two-way tie, or sorry, a two-way tie for both, uh, a tie, I don't know why I'm saying two-way, a tie for both the high and a tie for the low. So we have Squigs, and we got Ven, who are tied at an 11 for the low. I don't think, did either of them pull a Mythic? I, don't, I know Squigs didn't, did Ven? I don't remember. So let's just look at rares too while we're at it. So three so far, three, three, two. All right. Ven? Three, two, three. It happened. It finally happened. <clears throat> it finally happened. I can't believe it finally happened. We finally, I, I cannot, I, I set up two levels to be able to determine, but let's, let's do the highs. So the highs between Butters, oops, Butters and Anthony. So we'll check Mythic. So oh, we got a four in Mythic. A five and rare, which is pretty high in this. And I don't know if Butter's got a mythic, so I think Anthony might have taken this. Yep, took it on both accounts. Okay. Um You know, you know, you know, this this is actually what I'm gonna do. Sorry everybody, be right back in a second. I know I'm running off. It's probably really annoying, I should just pause things right now. But you can fast forward for a second. That's okay, you can do that. Go ahead. I gotta give you full permission to do that. That's fine. But I, I can't believe this just happened. And I'm absolutely floored that this just happened. And I was always worried the day that this happens. Thankfully, this particular time, I'm okay with it. <clears throat> So we're doing three prize packs today. Um, you know, I always start with the lows. Squigs. Yeah, they, they gotta be cut a deal. They, they gotta be uh, straightened out a little bit. <laughs> not, not surprised with collector boxes that much, is it? All right. Ellen Harbreeze. So Squigs, here we go. Acolyte, OG. The uh, Tomb of Horrors Adventurer, Endless Evil. You're the one that's put that card to use, aren't you? Uh, hey, Blood Money Extended Art. Cool. That's a solid mythic pool. And another mythic. Oh, Volo. <laughs> Jan Jansen. And a Foil Extended Art Under Mountain Adventurer. Not a bad pack there. Put that on top to remind myself to sleeve it. Then, come on, open up. Phoenix, Master Chef, Renus, the Council of Four, Sarvox Tome. Intellect Devourer. Come on, let's do something spicy. Council of Four in the etched. Gorion. All right, come on, last card. Hey, Luxury Suite. Excellent. Well, Ven, you got a lot of land today. And land's never a bad thing. Or rarely, rarely a bad thing. In this case, not a bad thing. Anthony, let's do your high. Levan, Skanos, Descent into Avernus, not bad. Flynn Collie Hunter. Ah, Basilisk Collar Extend Art. Lazel. Ah, very good. Minx and Boo in the Borderless artwork. 
Love to see it. So much better than the first one they came out with. And I'm not even a fan of Planeswalkers most of the time. Gorion. And that's it. Because <laughs> that's a foil. <laughs> All right. That was a that was overall a really good another another really good box of Modern Horizons. I swear, I swear, this is the most consistent product Wizards has ever created from a box to box standpoint. It's incredible. I, I countless boxes I've opened on this channel. I don't even know the number, but I know it's over forty at this point. Um, and it's just a consistent experience every single box, like. A bad box doesn't exist. You can get a mediocre box. Yeah, that's about as bad as they get, mediocre. <laughs> that's awesome. This, this Modern Horizons 1 is still the set. Thanks for watching, everybody.